I'm mad. You're mad. In short, we're... Is that yes. <laughs> <laughs> Are you like going on down to the Queens for some croquet today? Well, I should like that very much, but I haven't been invited yet. You'll see me there. Or uh, if you want. <laughs> Well, I've often seen a cat without a grin, but if Grimm had a cat, it's the most curious thing I ever saw in all my life! <laughs> After walking for quite some time, Alice came to the house of the March Hare. She thought it must be the right house because the uh, chimneys were shaped like here and the roof was thatched with fur. In the garden before the house was laid out a tea table. Seated at this was a hatter. No room! And a March Hare. Oh, I see! Mm, I guess we're just. Hey, hey, you down! Me? I don't see any wine. Well, that isn't any. Then it wasn't very civil of you to offer. <laughs> well, it wasn't very civil of you to sit down without being invited now, was it? Well, I didn't know it was your table. It's laid out for a great many more than three. <laughs> your hair runs cutting. You should learn not to make personal remarks. It's very rude. Huh! How is a raven like a writing desk? A, a raven? A writing desk? Time! I dare say you have never even spoken to time. Oh, time? Where does time go? You don't stand beating! <laughs> <laughs> Tell that story. The one about uh, you and time. <laughs> it was at the great concert. A concert? Given by the Queen of Hearts! <laughs> Twing. <laughs> that! Hail! <laughs> How I wonder what you're at! <laughs> Up above the boat you fly like a tea tray in the sky! This was more than Alice could bear. She rose from the table and stomped off with great disgust. Well, she'll never go there again. After walking for an even longer period, Alice came to a beautiful a garden. garden. There's a huge rose bush by the end. A rose bush? The roses were white, but there were two gardeners, busily painting them red. Would you tell me, please, why are you painting those roses? Well, one, two, three, four. <laughs> well, the thing is, you see, this ought to be a red tree. And we're doing our best to paint the roses red. <laughs> to paint the roses red. Ow! <laughs> paint the roses red. Slam off with his head. Paint, paint the, the, the roses red. <laughs> what are you doing? <coughs> Please, your majesty. We were trying to. I see. Not with their face. You. Can you play croquet? <laughs> yes. Come on, then. No to your places. People began running back and all wretched. Stumbling up against each other. However, they settled down in a mill or two, and the games began. Alice thought she had never seen such a curious croquet ground in all her life. The croquet mallets were like flamingos, and the croquet balls. like hedgehogs.